The intention of this short video is to help you identify Calicedrus decurrens. The bark of this strongly scented conifer is very heavy, vertically plated, at normally very rich red-brown colours. And the shape of this conifer is very distinctive, um, being relatively parallel sided, a vertical column with a slight rounded top often reaching heights of over 20 metres but very slowly. And this form of the tree is often used to plant them into groves where they sort of loom over and next to each other and give a certain particular presence to the space. The male flowers are small, changing from yellow uh, to brown, on mature trees born in large numbers. But uh, I've noticed that quite a few semi-mature trees uh, take a very long time to develop uh, they're flowering. Even after 30 years they're not flowering prol prolifically. And the female flowers, blink or you'll miss it, it's just a slightly wider green end to some of the shoots. This species being monoecious one can expect um, flowers and fruit on each tree although I'd have to say the cones aren't commonly born on younger trees. Um, here you can see the elongate, slightly fat green cone uh, consisting of about six to eight scales overlapping each other uh, with a slightly outward curved prick to each scale. The spray of this conifer is lush, mid-green and relatively flat, what's known as a 2D spray and it would lie flat on the tabletop. And looking more closely, what is distinctive about Calicedrus decurrent sprays is the length of each scale needle. They really are quite long and that gives the overall appearance of sort of boot laces or shoe laces to the shoot because there's long lengths before the shoot then divides into two or three. And here this close up of Calicedrus decurrent shoot shows these really long scales that can be produced particularly on the right hand side there. Uh, rub them between your thumb and finger and you'll also get quite a strong sort of waxy chemical smell.